Hello Heroes, it's Dr. Zeno with 15 Minute Fuel. We're just 15 minutes a day. We're going to fuel your mind, your body, and your future. When we're waiting for everybody to get on, as usual, the announcements. You know, we are on SoundCloud. You should be listening to that right now. Um, Stitcher, iTunes, make sure you sign up for the podcast. Also, we'll start stepping up our podcast soon. What we really need for you guys with the 15 Minute Fuel is if you are finding this enjoyable, if you are getting any value whatsoever, then make it better and you could control that. So all you need to do is private message me in any social platform that you listen to this to and just give us a little bit of feedback uh, with the solution. You know, don't, don't just say thanks, just say, hey, thanks. Hey, I would really like you to talk about this or hey, this is what I struggle with. I'll keep your name anonymous and we'll put out this good stuff for you. So we're always willing to do uh, whatever, you know, you guys kind of dictate what we talk about. So I have a whole list of things if you have already wrote me and emailed me already, I want to make sure that I'm speaking to you directly. And that's what I love. I love to hear the, the term, you hit me in between the eyes, or it was like a punch in the face, or it was a punch in the gut. Like, you guys have violent uh, descriptions about the fuels and the, and the videos, and that's exactly what I do. We want to pierce into the soul over the conversations that you do not want to have with anybody else because... You know, you just don't want to talk about it. So if I could just be able to get to, you know, get through to you on those levels to give you some freedom to, you know, wake you up a little bit, then it's, it's just oxygen to us. So thank you so much for doing that. Also, this week, we're really pushing the YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube pages uh, so you do have um, all the We Are Hero shows in a row. There's a whole playlist there along with the 15 Minute Fuels. There is a playlist there as well. And you can also use that as podcasting, so to speak. You know, when I watch YouTube playlist. I hit play and I go about my day, go about my morning. So whether I'm watching it or I'm listening to it, I get it all there. So make sure you do those. All right. So if you have not gotten IamHero.com forward slash free series, go ahead and do that. Uh, we're doing day nine, I believe, right? So, yep, today's Thursday, day nine. And uh, today is about emotions are, I'm sorry, winning is emotional. You know, you know I've been very practical on the steps taken to win now, right? So you gotta do this, you gotta track them, you gotta be committed. But let's talk about the reality of the emotions. Winning is emotional. I don't mean that like you win, you're holding the trophy and you're crying, which I've been there before and that's the greatest feeling ever. I'm gonna talk about the emotions getting to your goals. So you set these goals, right? We talk, we set the goals, we're committed, we're taking 100% responsibility, and then I'm saying we're tracking them because as we track them, what's happening? You're seeing the blind spots. You're seeing the things, the inconsistencies, right? What you track, there it is. So you, you actually, but see, when you track something, sometimes tracking it and writing it down, you don't like what you see, right? Because you don't like what you see, and what starts to happen, you start to get down on yourself. Or you blow the diet. I'm always going to use diet now because it's easy. If, if you want to have a mastermind with me, I could show you all the things in your, in your money that's going wrong that could you know, make you thousands of bucks just from making different decisions. But for the purpose of speaking to the masses and use this, example for other parts of it are like, so if you blow the diet, you know, then you ask yourself why, you know, you see the variables that did it. Maybe you, you went too long. You didn't plan your meals. You didn't, um, you didn't have food there. So you went fast food. You went too long without eating. And then, but after you do something, what happens after you blow it, you kind of feel guilty, right? You get angry at yourself. You feel guilty. You feel like you're self-sabotaging yourself. And this is where we're getting to what we're talking about today. Winning is emotional. It's not going to be all happy rainbows and unicorns until you hit the goal. You're constantly going to have a battle of elation and down moments, right? You're going to feel, hey, I'm winning. This is good. I'm on the right road. I feel excited. I feel great. Everything's amazing. That's one emotion. And then you have an emotion of self-doubt, of boredom, of, uh, 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 I want to say apathy, but, uh, and I wouldn't, see, I wouldn't say depression either. Something just low, heavy. Right, because you're just going through this, you know, you're going through the ups and downs. It's that, it's that secret identity telling you, hey, because what happens is you haven't reached these goals already. So as you're reaching the goals, you got to go through some self-doubt because you have never done it before, right? So your brain keeps on reminding you what you haven't done or what you can lose or maybe, hey, you know, just stay comfortable. It's that secret identity always fighting for itself. Remember, you got the hero and you got the secret identity. So constantly, you're going to have really great days emotionally, and then you have some days that totally suck down and you want to sleep. That's part of winning. So when you feel those emotions, this doesn't mean you're doing something wrong. This doesn't mean that you're necessarily doing something right either, but you're definitely not doing it wrong. And I'm not asking you to, to um, kind of disregard them. That's what we tend to do. We try to get numb. 
But here's the problem, numb is also a feeling. We think numb is the, the cure for feelings, it's not. Numb is a feeling. So what you want to do is you want to embrace those emotions and ask yourself, okay, you don't fight it. Why am I feeling down today? Why am I, uh, why am I feeling, you know, sad today? And then you answer. Sometimes the sadness that you're feeling could just be just your body processing to a new level of your life. You know, for some of you, you had to let go of old belief systems to move forward, right? Maybe the belief system is you're going to be overweight just like your mom and your dad were. Or you're going to have this sickness just like your mom and dad were. And so even though you never want that, but, you know, you're letting go of a belief that's been part of you for so long. And so there's a sadness, right? You know, so when you, when you start to rip off the band-aids and open up certain wounds that were there as you progress forward, right? You have to let go of something to move forward. You know that. And so the sadness, the I'm in a funk today, the low day, the, the self-doubt, instead of um, faking it till you make it, which is a bunch of crap, um, actually embrace it, face it, you know, hold it and say, so why am I sad today? Why is my energy low? Why do I want to sleep all day long? What, what am I dealing with? What is this self-doubt? And, and actually, don't even try to get it in your mind and really try to figure it out. Just be like, well, you know, I'm feeling this, and what's this mean? What is my body telling me? You know, what am I going through? What am I learning? It's all a learning experience. And what I tend to find it, it's just, it's, the old, it's an old part of you that is slowly dying off. And when something dies off, it leaves a little bit of wound, you know, but then it opens up the space for you to move forward, right? Because a lot of times when you say, hey, listen, I had, a, I had a bad day today, great, that's part of the process. So understanding that winning isn't, you know, always fun. And uh, the thing is, and winning doesn't mean, you know, freedom. See, winning to me equals freedom. So I could call this uh, one month to freedom, right? Because freedom also, when you think about it, freedom doesn't mean you're doing everything that you like to do that feels good on a daily basis, right? You know, working out doesn't feel great on a daily basis. Eating uh, turkey and broccoli doesn't feel great on a daily basis, but it's the freedom it gives you in your health or apply that to any other area of your life. So freedom is not necessarily feel good all the time. You know, it's that part of the body that has never reached it, or because you're reaching a level you never reached before, so that part that's never reached it, as you break through, there's old parts of your belief system that are dying off. And that's going to be a little painful, but as you, as you don't fight through it, as you just continue through, acknowledge it, no guilt, no condemnation, and only forgiveness, because it's you, it's your body. And like I always say, like that secret identity, you know, Dear Secret Identity, thank you so much for trying to protect me in the past. I don't need you anymore. You know, the hero rises. So in our life, those, those times of sadness going through the process to your goal or to the win or towards freedom, you know, you understand like these feelings are stuff that were rooted inside us and, you know, just love them, forgive them and let them go and you will get through it and then you'll feel light, you'll feel free. If some of you, if, if you have to cry, you'll be amazing. It's like, how can eating well get me so emotional that I cry? It happens. And for some of you, it already happened. Like you get an emotional state. Well, why am I so? Because, you know, you're, you're detoxing from sugar. You know, there's a, there's, a, there's a part of you that's been so comfortable that's actually scared of the potential that you'll actually be able to have later on in health because maybe you were holding on to sickness or sabotaging habits in your life because of your parents or because of your friends or because some type of bullshit that you believed in the past. So this is that part of you, the lie, the secret identity that starts to die off, but you forgive it and you allow it. Actually, you know what you do? It's like an ice cube melting in water. Think of it that way. So embrace that bad emotion. If it's sadness, depression, whatever it is, don't fight it and say, listen, I'm just having a rough day today and I'm just going to keep on doing my things. I'm going to, I'm going to acknowledge it. All right. I'm not going to claim it. And I know that, you know, I'm going to, it's just going to get, it's just going to get better because I'm moving towards bigger things in my life. And it will, it, the body will then process and it will go away, but it has to be done with grace, mercy, forgiveness, and not getting down on yourself. You know, if you eat, if you eat something bad, mentally figure out, Hey, why'd I do it? What was emotional about that point? You know, did I just, did I just need it. Great. Or, you know, what happened that, um, you know, what, what caused them to get there. And then what you start to do from there, you then move forward. So remember, winning is emotional. It's freedom's emotional. Anything, any, any great thing that you achieve in your life is going to have uh, the ups and downs. It's going to have the fight, the behind the scenes, the, the grit, the grind, all that stuff, the hustle to be able to get there. No one sees but you. 
And so embrace yourself. You know, um, a couple, I'll, I'll give you two examples. I'll give you a funny example. The funny example was um, I was about a month away from the Mr. Universe. And what happens is, you know, you count, uh, you count, if, so, if someone asks, well, usually you, you count the, the, the contest by weeks, right? So someone will say, how many weeks are you out? And you'll be like 16 weeks, 15 weeks, 14 weeks, right? So around the, the one month mark, it's not weeks anymore. You start counting days. You're like, I'm 30 days. I'm 21 days. I'm 10 days. Because then it really shows that, holy crap, this is close. And then your mind really goes, wow, you're only four weeks away. That's not a lot. You've been working your butt off. And now you get like a new sense of anxiety. So, you know, I had a little bit of a high carb meal that night on purpose, you know, it was supposed to. And then I fooled myself and I went in the cupboard and I started making stuff that, you know, you guys, you know, I just start combining stuff, making little, you know, this, this powdered peanut butter with no calories. So I ate that whole thing. And then I just said, I went to a trance, went to uh, Whole Foods and then HEB and just went on an all out onslaught of self-sabotage. And then I found myself on the couch, hardly able to breathe because I ate so much. And this is totally a uh, total emotional thing, stress getting too much on me. And uh, it's totally irrational. Like I didn't need to do the show at all. It was just, and I'm sitting there going like in this, this moment of clarity and emotion and, and disgrace and all these other feelings, talking to my wife, tearing up, crying, go, going, I can't believe I'm doing this. Why am I doing this to myself? Just nonsense uh, because of the pressure, you know, and then, and then, I mean, it turned out well, you know, four weeks later, nothing happened. I won. It was awesome. Uh, but it happens, you know, so even the strongest of us, strongest of us do that. And, um, you know, recently, you know, here I've been doing the Hero Keynote. So I go and, you know, you get to travel and then you do the hero keynote in front of large groups of people and it's great. You know, it's all that hard work. And if you saw the episodes, all the practicing in front of the camera and stuff to practice and practice. And then uh, last weekend was great. Got to go to Clearwater and meet with cool people, you know, hang out with friends and, and do the keynote and do a masterminds. And then the next night and then fly out to Denver and do the keynote again and and just the feedback from the people and just the, you know, being on that place or being in that moment is so elating, right? It's wonderful. It's a true authentic version of yourself. And then you come back and you come back to what life was a little bit. And they, the, the contrast of, of, of that win or that feeling emotion here to coming back to semi-normal life, the, high, the higher the high, the, dip, the lower the dip. And I'm telling you, it's brutal. It's, it's, it's tough, and, uh, but it's all part of it. And then, then what starts to happen when you have a contrast, with, and that's also part of it too, when you guys start doing well, when your finances are doing better, when your relationships are better, when, you're, um, when your health is better, when your business is better, what's gonna start to happen is in the beginning, you're gonna see a huge contrast to where it's going, how good you're doing, and then you're gonna have dips. So the bigger the contrast, then you can, that's when you're gonna feel more of the emotional highs and lows until and then then you start to think differently and say well listen how can I spend more time here and then then I realize these are the things I got to let go still so through the process of growing and achieve, achieving your goals and your freedom I think uh, the process exposes areas of your life that you have to let go and when you let them go only then will you be able to move into the new area where you were really destined and belong to be but letting go of those things is like it's letting go of something that's been with you for 20 30 40 years and it, and and you have associated that it's been a part of you but it's really never been a part of you it's just been kind of a lie and so letting it go feels like you're cutting off a finger but you know that if you don't cut that wink wink finger off or whatever that is then you know you can't go forward so so that that polarity that happens because as you win, right, the polarity that's going to happen, it is real. You will feel it. It's truth. But uh, all you could do is feel the emotion, uh, forgive it, love it, release it. You know, so w what keeps me uh, where I'm at is something that was protecting me and protecting you. And then you just got to let it retire and do your best to do that and move forward. And uh, knowing that this is all part of the win. This is all part of the freedom. Because I really think in life you want to go for freedom. Uh, not an easy life, you know, it's, you know, you could, you could be a hundred millionaire and not have freedom, right? So it's not doing the thing you love to do. It's doing the thing that gives you freedom and freedom. There is love and freedom. And there's things that you have to do that you may not like in order to gain the freedom. 
but it's totally all worth it at the end. So hope you enjoyed today. Remember, winning is emotional. I will see you guys tomorrow and for the rest of the week, of course. And have a wonderful day. Uh, please comment or anything you want. You can, you can see uh, it's pinned there. You got our episodes. Uh, we Are Heroes. Start binging on that or catch up to that. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow with 15 Minute Fuel. We're just in 15 minutes a day. We'll fuel your mind, your body, and your future. God bless.